It's been quite some time since HyperX first announced their mechanical keyboard and today we have this brand new HyperX Alloy Origins here with their own mechanical switch and today we're going to find out how the keyboard actually feels when we use it. Firstly, we gotta talk about the HyperX Alloy FPS Pro which came out 2 years ago. Yes, this keyboard is old and I've been using it since the day it has reached our labs. And honestly, I have to say out of the box here, this keyboard is really solid. And same goes to the new HyperX Alloy Origins as well. This keyboard, it's kind of similar in terms of design language. As you can see here, it's still using a floating key switch design. But this time around, it has rounded edges around the sides here, which gives it a really slick look compared to last time. The build quality is once again real solid, you can't flex it at all and they're using some sort of two-piece metal plate here so you have one at the top and one at the bottom which is really solid and you can see that now they are also using matte finish for the top base plate here which is good because the RGB will not reflect directly into your eyes but it will diffuse around the keyboard and make it glow. Looking at the back of the keyboard here, you can see that it's pretty simple. You only have four rubber feet here. And most importantly, you got this real good kickstand here. So by default, if you don't use the kickstand, it is at three degrees of angle. And then if you want to release the first level, then it will go up to seven degrees. And the second level here goes up to 11 degrees. Around the top side here is where you connect your USB type C cable. Yes. HyperX has moved on to Type-C which is much better than the mini USB that they used on the original HyperX Alloy FPS Pro here. One key highlight point of the HyperX Alloy Origins here is the RGB. HyperX actually revamped the entire RGB here, I'm not too sure what they did to it but the color accuracy and the transition of color cycling between one another is really smooth and you can see the colors just change smoothly and you can't see the hard lines that separate between two colors. This is amazing in terms of RGB capability. And to not disrupt that harmonious RGB flow here, HyperX actually made an LCD panel here to indicate the status LEDs. If you want to enable NumLock, Caps Lock and the Game Mode which locks the left windows key here, then this part of the LCD will light up. It's really sleek way of handling this type of indicator LEDs and I think this is also the best way to do it because it doesn't shine on your eyes but you can still see it and know what's going on. The HyperX Alloy Origins is also the company's first ever mechanical keyboard that is using their own branded mechanical key switches. So the one we have here is using the HyperX Rates. Yes, that is the name of this key switch and as expected, it is linear. In terms of specs, it is actually 0.2mm shorter for both actuation point and the travel distance. From our typing experience, the key switch is actually pretty good. One thing to take note of is that there is no scratchiness when you are pressing down the key switch so it is real smooth all the way down and there is no exponential force like the Huntsman that we reviewed previously. The spacebar stabilizer is also pretty good as you can see here or hear here that it doesn't really rattle that much. It still does rattle a bit but it's kind of difficult to hear it. And most importantly is that the stabilizer is stable enough for the whole key to go down in one coherent movement which I like it a lot. However, the keyboard ping is a bit too loud. As you can hear here, once you lift off the bounce back of the key switch is a bit too aggressive and I find that real annoying since I'm someone who likes silent keyboards. However, for gamers, I would say this bounce back is really important because it allows you to press the keys much faster because of that aggressive bounce back. Comes with a trade-off of noise but if you are just gaming all the time and wearing headphones then it doesn't matter. And then comes the keycaps of this keyboard which we think is our biggest gripe against this keyboard because they are using ABS plastic with laser edge legends. This keycap will not last long if you are just going to hammer this keyboard especially if your fingernail is going to scratch it and I think in the future generation of HyperX keyboards they should move on to double shot PBT straight away and it will look great especially with this type of RGB lighting here. In terms of onboard functions the HyperX Alloy Origins does come with some basic functionality 
like on board profile switching here with your function key F1, F2 and F3 and then you also have multimedia keys here and also your game lock key which is on F12 and overall the function is okay on board and you will need to install the Ingenuity software on your PC to take advantage of the RGB controls here. So in conclusion, the HyperX Alloy Origins comes in at 499 ringgit, which we think is a bit steep, especially since that it comes with this type of ABS laser edge keycaps, which it's not even double shot, come on. For the next generation, I think the most logical way is to upgrade to PBT double shot perhaps, like this type of keycaps here. And I would say once HyperX have shifted to double shot PBT, this keyboard will be a lot easier to recommend. So do tell us what you think about the HyperX Alloy Origins right here and tell us what switch you like when it comes to mechanical keyboards. And do subscribe for more videos like this and we'll see you in the next one.